I've always wanted a clear demonstration of the difference between a full-time all-wheel drive system with a center differential and a part-time four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive system or with a center differential locked. So I went out to a dirt field near my house and, and gave it a test. So you can see in this first example, the center differential is unlocked. I'm in full-time all-wheel drive and there's not a lot of scrubbing and the turn radius is nice and tight. Now I'll lock the center diff, which turns the full-time all-wheel drive system into a part-time all-wheel drive system. So what you'll see in this example is tire scrub, where the back tires are actually pushing the fronts because of the difference in the amount of travel that they have to do around a corner. As you can see in the overlay, the turning radius are very similar, but the locked system is definitely pushing more dirt out of the way. And this is why it's a part-time system, because if you were to do this on anything other than a loose surface, you'd get driveline wind-up and uh, eventually driveline damage and tire wear. Since I was out here, I also thought it would be neat to see what would happen if I locked my front and rear differentials as well. In this shot, I've got all three differentials locked, front, rear, and center, and you can see a very clear pattern emerging of a lot of dirt being pushed out of the way in a kind of ripple pattern, especially on the inside. We'll take a look at that more in detail in a sec. As you can see in the overlay between a fully locked and a fully unlocked system, the difference is huge in maneuverability. Before we go to a close-up, look again at the detail in the inside tracks and how it's kind of rippled. As we look at the close-ups, you can see how it's mounding up dirt because the inside wheel is traveling a shorter distance than the outside, but at the same speed. So it's going faster than the distance it can cover, causing these little speed bumps to be built up behind the wheel. Well, that's it. Hopefully it was uh, educational for you. It was fun for me to do that and finally see that.